This idea came up because uh, I was interested on the subject and I found that there is very little literature on the subject which is easily accessible to a common man. Most of the accounts that were uh, written carried with it certain biases so, and uh, there was a lot of misinformation spreading around on the so uh, topic. It was a very simplistic explanation like what, what was the reason for the conflict. People tend to blame it on a treacherous act by China. People tend to blame it on the inefficiency or uh, partisanship of the then Defence Minister Krishna Menon which I thought was too simplistic. So actually I got time to read about, about the topic about 10 years back and then uh, once I read up I found that there are a lot of misinformation actually going on the field. So I thought I should jot down the points and then it took the shape of a book. Idea is to see the facts, offer the facts in a language which is simple where people like me can understand that. So what is the highlight, if you have to talk about the highlights of the USP of the book, what would you want to say and how long did it take for you to actually pen it down? So the USP of the book is uh, quite simply, it is a narrative which tackles the whole problem of the border dispute right from the uh, legacy days of the British Empire, right through the uh, period f between the independence and the war and the post-war this thing. And the updated edition that is coming is because the first edition was brought out in 2012 and it got a fairly good response. So there's a stream of thought that the events that took place post the war, uh, after 1962, which have a bearing on the events of today should also be penned out. So that was the reason for this updated edition coming out. Okay, Tabu is coming to the book launch. Uh, is there any like, reason or any special thing about it? Uh, you people in the like panel discussion, know? people on yeah. the board today, who is still launching the book, if you could share more details on that. Sir, the external affairs minister, former external affairs minister, Krishnaji is coming. Then the people who are, other people who are coming are all people who are experts on the topic of China, they are all part of think tanks where uh, the functioning of China, the relations between India and China, the bilateral relations, the other factors that have effect on the bilateral relations. These are people who study the topic on a daily basis. These are actually professionals who study the subject very seriously and very in terms. I am a very amateur person, so my view is basically the view of a layman. And actually, uh, we all learn a lot by listening to them, because they are people who know more about the subject. So, GST completes one year in July. It is something which has started one year back. In uh, one year, the first year is the most difficult one. We had a uh, period where government actually took down the difficulties and made a lot of concessions so that life of the industry was easier. Looking back, it's a year of satisfaction, but there's a lot of work ahead also. So juggling between two professions, which one do you find the most um, uh, you know, engaging uh, out of work? No, this is a work of passion. The other is a job. Time to devote to your passion. I mean, obviously, writing a book is not easy. It takes months and days, and uh, you know, a lot of time goes into it. So, how do you balance that? Uh, it, it's as I said, it's a passion, it's a hobby. So, I make sure that I devote at least two hours a day to reading, and writing is part of that. So, I enjoy doing that. Talking about your favorite chapter in the book, if you would want to talk about it, which you really, you know, it was intriguing and was, uh, you know, most, you know, you have your favoritisms every time. So what was at one point that you think? You asked me the most difficult question of sort because the whole book is a labor of love. So from the page one to the last page, I love all the pages. If, if you look at one particular, uh, it's very difficult to come out with one particular page, but I, I would say the, the chapter on uh, forward policy is something which is closest to my heart because uh, it, it was actually a revelation for me how events unfolded and how China could work out the situation to their advantage. So it was a very, very, very uh, great learning experience as to how things went wrong at a very crucial uh, juncture in Indian history. So the third book is on your way now? Do we get to see that soon? Hopefully. Let it come out. Thank you. Thank you.
Namaste, Shri S. M. Krishna arrives. I would like to welcome the dignitaries already present in the dais. Next to him, we have Dr. Shrikant Kodapalli, faculty at the Center, of, Center for East Asian Studies, JNU, New Delhi. Next to him, we have Commodore Shri C. Uday Bhaskar. He's a director of Society for Policy Studies, New Delhi. And then we have none other than our own, uh, Dr. K. Starting the function, I request our Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency Sri S. M. Krishna and all the other dignitaries to stand up and unveil the book. Excuse me. Sir, please cover the media. We would like to congratulate Dr. K. M. Raghavan on this occasion. Getting the function in order. Okay, so uh, uh, Tapuji has to leave right now. So thank you so much for uh, coming. Ladies and gentlemen. I feel it a great honor that I have been asked by Mr. Raghavan to release the revised book that has been written by Mr. Raghavan. Let me start by Congratulating Mr. Raghavan for his work, which is being formally released today. I believe this is this has been updated. The earlier publication was done six years back. And uh, I'm sure the updating has been quite useful. It is said that we can choose our friends, but not our neighbors. 
I think this is a old adage. In, 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 and it is more so than international politics. India and China have been the holders of great civilizational legacies that mankind has known. Well, we have also had good neighborly relationship over a period of time. But the relationship became a bit uncertain and at times very hostile. As a result of which, today we stand at the threshold, they culminate, uh, they culminate in certain border conflicts, but we continue to engage each other uh, with a a sense of trying to mend our fences with each other. Behind the sudden deterioration of the relationship, to the extent that uh, armed hostility should have taken place, place before the public, so that we not only learn from them, but are also better placed to avoid uh, the pitfalls. Over the years that he continued as Prime Minister of this country, he continued to be in charge of foreign affairs. That is largely because Pandit Nehru had a deep insight in the, of international laid by the Indian National Congress because it had a foreign policy cell which was mostly headed by both Nehru and Dr. Ram Manohar Lokya. Both of them were experts and authorities in their own right. Dr. Sharmila here and it, it has been a very special moment and an honor to attend this book launch Dividing Lines by Dr. Raghavan. Um, being a doctor I would just like to add that it was definitely a very uh, different experience and also I have a lot of respect and a um, lot of uh, uh, goodwill towards somebody who's really following his passion. It's always a pleasure to hear somebody and get inspired by someone who's started as a doctor and then he's following his passion because I believe that's what life is about and that's what we all uh, should be following. So just uh, want to congratulate uh, Mr. Raghavan on uh, attending and touching a very sensitive and important topic about the Indochina uh, relationship and what happens around the border. And uh, it was also a great pleasure um, attending the launch where we got to see um, Mr. Bonnie Kapoor and Tabu doing the unveiling of the book. So congrats, uh, Mr. Raghavan, and all the best. Good book. Uh, everybody should read. Aisi cheeze padne chahiye, taake jo hamari agli generation unko pata chale ke atit mein kya hua. Baaki ye bolenge. 
सी जो 1962 इशू था वो बहुत बड़ा इशू था और इंडिया के लिए तो मैटर ऑफ प्राइड रहा है आ, हम उसमें क्या चीज़ सीख सकते हैं और क्या चीज़ वहाँ से सीखने के बाद हमारी आर्मी ने अपने अंदर डेवलप की ये एक बड़ा इशू था और आज इसके ऊपर बुक आई है तो ऑफ कोर्स एवरीबडी शुड हंड्रेड परसेंट स्टडी द बुक और पढ़ के पता लगेगा अभी मैं भी बुक को पढ़ूँगा लेकिन जो मुझे राइटर के विचार लगे दो वर्ड सो ब्यूटीफुल लगता है कि बुक बहुत अच्छी होगी सी वन टैक्स वन कंट्री अच्छा रिफॉर्म है और मैं तो हमेशा से ही इसके पक्ष में था पिछली कुछ गवर्नमेंट से नहीं हो पा रहा था अबकी बार हुआ है तो और अच्छा इट्स गुड फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ कंट्री जी एस टी इज़ गुड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन बबू जी देंगे बबू जी के शुक्रिया लिखते रहें ऐसी चीज़ें लिखते रहें अच्छा है हमारी तरफ से कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन हैं और इस तरह की चीज़ें आएंगी तो ये ये लिटरेचर क्या है कि आपको गाइड करता है तो आना चाहिए एंड वेरी मच कॉन्ग्रेट्स टू